Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a serious topic. There's no laughing, there's no humor in this one, and obviously it's different from my typical content. But before we jump into that, I first just want to just, yes, I'm sunburnt. Cool. Next, I posted a poll on Instagram about whether you guys wanted to see me upload on weekdays or weekends, and weekends won. So today's video is going up today, and then I'll post another video either Saturday or Sunday, and then that'll start the weekend uploads. And then the third thing I wanted to just throw out before I jump into what I want to say is that if you feel that I misspoke, misinformed, am wrong, whatever, and you don't know, like, what's wrong with it, do a quick Google search before you just mouth off in the comments. Unless you truly know where it's wrong, how it's wrong, and how it can be fixed, do a Google search. Do a Google search on anything if you need to. I encourage you to educate yourself, do research, whatever you need to do before you go bashing me or others in the comment section. Because that just, that just, it's not cool. And I encourage you to do research on any topic, not just the racial inequality that's going on. I mean, like, LGBT stuff, uh, education. If you need to look up research on a pizza joint, if that's what you need to do to educate yourself, do it. Like, I cannot say this enough. Like, as an educator, I encourage you to also educate yourself so you can educate others. So... And if your sole purpose is here just to spread hate, I'm going to ask you to click off of this video. Maybe just click off of my channel. Because you don't want to be here, I don't want you here. So Now that that is out of the way, today I'm going to talk about a few things. I'm going to be talking about the protest that I went to yesterday and a little bit of history, I think. And I think I'm going to start with the history. I really hope that this isn't picking up my dog because he's going crazy. So we're going to start with some history. So for over 400 years, people of color have been racially profiled. They have been enslaved. They have been discriminated against. They have been segregated. They have had hate crimes committed to them. They have had hate towards them. They have immense amount of racism towards them. Do, do you, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Like, do I really need to go on? Like, for over 400 years, that's been happening to a group of people. Like, I, it's... I'm not gonna go off and say, like, I can't believe this because, I mean, I can. Like, white people are crazy. Not, and I'm not gonna go with the not all white people, not all cops, not all black people, wh whatever. Because we, we know that wh where there's good, there is evil. Where there's light, there is darkness. We know that. So I'm not gonna, you know... Well, a lot of white people are nuts out there. And I personally like to see myself as an ally to people of color. And as an ally... I felt I needed to go to the protest to shout through my mask as loud as I possibly could everything that was being chanted, everything in support. So to further go into history, obviously people of color were enslaved until Abraham Lincoln said no more, but it never got easier. It never got easier. Because for some reason, someone at Thomas Jefferson said that white skin is superior to any other race, skin color, whatever. I don't really know. I don't really know how. Like, to be honest, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I do not get the mentality that, well, actually, it was a white man. So I think that's really the only explanation right there. White man, period. But no, I don't really understand how someone can really try to figure out why people of color are inferior to white people. And there is this really good book. It's called White Fragility by Robin DiAngelo. Um, I'll find a link and I'll link it down below so you can check it out. And one of my professors had us read it last semester. 
and it's basically about why it's so hard for white people to talk about race. It talks about white supremacy, white women's tears, which is something that I didn't even like know was a thing. It talks about how Thomas Jefferson literally had scientists try to figure out why black people were inferior to white people. It's got tons of resources also. Like they're like they're like numbered like like a scientific like study kind of like that. It's numbered. So all the sources are at the end of the book. And I really encourage all of the white people, especially the allies, to read it. Because you might be an ally, but you could not be the best ally. I mean, I could probably not be the best ally, but I'm willing to learn, to listen, and to better myself so that I am a better ally. I keep going off on tangents and we're never going to get through the history, let alone the rest of this video. So, no more tangents. No more tangents. So, in the 60s, segregation was outlawed and integration was just thrown into the mix. Cool, right? No, not really. It never got better for people of color in the last 401 years. Ever. They were, I believe, one of the last parties to be allowed to vote. And if I remember correctly, I believe that their vote didn't count as one whole vote. I'm pretty sure they counted as like a fraction of a vote. Pull up to 2020 and we still have black people losing their lives. They're being shot in their own home. They're being killed out in the streets. Now, I don't want to get too into the whole like cop situation. Although I really, really, really want to. I feel like that's a whole video all on its own. This is strictly about basically how we need to do better as white people. We need to do better. Period. There's no if, ands, or buts. We need to do better. If, if there's anything, it's we need to do better and support these people. Period. Moving on into the protest. Now this is the first time I ever went to any any kind of protest. Like period for anything. So I didn't really know what to expect. I made a sign and I am not going to include any footage from it. I did not even get much footage from it. I only had one thing I posted to my story. One video that had, you know, everyone's faces were covered in masks, thank god. And, you know, the only pictures that you'll see are in my thumbnail. Like, the reason that I'm not posting any footage is to protect the identities of protesters. Because, A, that's just respectful, and B, there was a time that I was told about that protesters' faces got leaked and they were mysteriously killed. So, to keep that from happening as best as I possibly can as one individual, you will not be seeing footage. So sorry. If you have me on Snapchat, you saw that video, you can look at the thumbnail, that's it. So, you know, my sister and I made signs, and I, I, I knew to expect, obviously, you know, there would be speakers, we would be walking, you know, the chanting. Other than that, I wasn't sure if there was going to be, like, anything else, anything else going on. I wasn't sure, like, if we were just going to be, like, walking, like, the whole two hours, like, I, you know. And, of course, you know, there's always that fear in the back of my mind that, you know, a riot could break out. Thank God nothing like that happened. It was completely peaceful. And I think it was such an empowering two hours. Like, just hearing stories, chanting alongside the people that were, that were, are, and will be hurt by racism and being with these people and being an ally to these people was truly an empowering, it was an empowering day, to be honest. And, um, you know, my first rally was pretty cool. I'm not gonna say I had fun because I don't really think that, like, protesting for racial equality is, like, fun. But it wasn't a boring time, it wasn't a bad time either. 
So I guess I'll say it was a good empowering time. It wasn't like fun. And something that I do want to throw out there really, really quickly. I know I said it wasn't going to go all into like the whole cop thing, but I'm just going to say because I did mention, you know, the fear of a riot starting in my hometown. A lot of people are really upset about the riots and about looting and the stealing and the destruction of communities and stuff like that. I don't know if y'all realize that a lot of the riots are being started by police. Like, listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. If a cop is gonna start a riot, guarantee I'm fighting back. Like, if you know me, you know my stance on cops and you know how I feel. Like I said, this isn't gonna be about that. I can do a whole other video if you would like me to, but this isn't about that. And um, something I found very interesting is that we surrounded City Hall and, you know, we all took a knee and we chanted for the cops there to take a knee as well. All of them were white. Not a single one took a knee because they, they were too good for it. All I'm saying is that that just shows me why I, for, shows me further why I cannot trust the police in my area. And honestly, if you feel some type of way about me not trusting the police in this area, people from this area, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and just remove yourself or let me know so I can remove you. So to wrap up this little rant now because I'm just spewing out word vomit at this point, to wrap up this video, I want to just throw out, I am gonna link and list the known sites for donations and stuff like that down in the description box so check that out i'm also going to i'm gonna end with what i really want to really want to say and i i've been trying so hard not to like curse a bunch in this video because it just gets me so frustrated as a human how other humans can treat humans inhumanly you know what i mean like, I'm trying to keep this family friendly, I'm trying to keep this, you know, PG, and I'm trying to keep my language under wraps. Yeah, check out those uh, donation links that are down in the description box. I will also link the White Fragility book down there, probably from like Amazon or Barnes & Noble, wherever it's cheapest, I will link that link. So look out for that also. And if you're interested in that book, please read it. Please, please, please read it. It's so good. And it literally, like, explains how white people can do better. And honestly, if you're white and you're watching this and you have felt any kind of, you know, you felt defensive about anything I said, you felt offended by anything I said, you're part of the problem. Period. You're part of the problem. And if people of color are telling you that you're not being a good ally, you're a part of the problem, anything like that, and you get offended, we know where you stand. So, first of all, if you're an ally and you are white, speak up. Don't speak for, speak up. White silence is violence, which is what my sign said. You can check that out in the thumbnail. I literally, like, treat people with kindness, y'all. Like, be kinder, do better. Do better. Black lives matter. And all lives can't matter until black lives matter.